Welcome back New Zealand and Australia, it's the 8th of July, subscribe us, an unstable air mass affects Northland, Auckland, Coromandel Peninsula, and the Bay of Plenty west of Taranga this afternoon and evening. There is a moderate risk of thunderstorms there during the afternoon, reducing to low risk in the evening. These thunderstorms may be accompanied by localized heavy rain with intensities of 10 to 25 mm per hour, a front moves slowly south over the east of the North Island. This afternoon there is a low risk of thunderstorms for the remainder of the Bay of Plenty and Gisborne north of Tokamaru Bay. There is also a low risk of thunderstorms this afternoon and evening for the remainder of Gisborne. The far north of Hawke's Bay and for coastal Hawke's Bay from Napier southwards, a low near the Chatham Islands moves slowly away to the east during Monday and Tuesday. The low directs showers onto eastern parts of the South Island and Lower North Island, while showery southwesterlies affect the central and upper North Island. A showery west to southwest flow becomes established over the country from late Tuesday, with a series of embedded fronts and troughs moving quickly over New Zealand. This flow strengthens over central New Zealand for a time late Wednesday and early Thursday, and there is low confidence of severe westerly gales for central Hawke's Bay and the Tararua district during this time. The southwest flow eases during Thursday as a ridge approaches from the Tasman Sea. For Australia, a thick band of cloud with embedded thunderstorms associated with a cold front lies over southeastern South Australia, southern New South Wales, Victoria, and Tasmania. Scattered low to mid-level cloud lies to its west, extending over much of the southern coastline of the country. Onshore flow is producing low-level cloud through coastal areas of northern Queensland, while patches of high cloud generated by thunderstorms in the deep tropics are extending over much of north 